Hello everyone. Today we are going to work this worksheet around the area of quadrilaterals. First of all, we have to remember that a quadrilateral is a polygon that is made of four sides. We have many uh, types of quadrilaterals. The most famous ones are the square, rectangle, and also we have to know uh, about the parallelogram, the trapezium, the kite, and the arrowhead. Each one of them has uh, its own properties. And overall, we are going to find the area of each of the coming quadrilaterals. Each one, I'm going to apply the rule uh, for each one separately. First of all, here I have a square. The area of the square is length squared. So I'm going to say in the area equals 49 squared, which is 49 divided by 49. Type it on the calculator and get the answer. And of course, the unit here is feet square. The second question, I have a parallelogram. Um, I have two pairs of parallel sides and two pairs of equal sides. I'm going to write the rule here, which is base multiplied by height. Base and height must be perpendicular sides. So here I have the height is eight yards and the base is 19 yards. So the area is 19 multiplied by eight. Use the calculator to get the final answer. Question three, I have a rectangle. The area is the length, not base actually, it's length multiplied by width. So I have here 56 multiplied by 20. I will multiply the two sides by each other to get the area. Question three is done. Question four is here. Also, I have a rectangle. The area is length times width, which is 40 multiplied by 32. Get the answer in yard square. Question five, I have a square, so it's seven square, which is 49 inch square. Question six, I have a trapezium. How can I tell it's a trapezium? I have only one pair of parallel sides. A trapezium is a quadrilateral made of four sides with one pair of parallel sides. Area of a trapezium is somehow different. Here I have two bases. They are of different lengths, so I have to get the mean of the two bases, and then I will multiply what I got by the height. يعني the area equals base one plus base two divided by two. This is how can I get the the mean of the two bases, and then I will multiply this by the height. So this means twenty eight plus thirty five divided by two. I will work this part first, and then I will multiply what I got by eighteen. Twenty eight plus thirty five, which is sixty three over two times 18, which is 63 times nine. Use your calculator and get the final answer. Question seven, the sum of the length of the bases and the height of a trapezoid are 13 inches and six inches respectively. Determine the area of the trapezoid. As what we know, area equals the mean of the bases, base one plus base two divided by two, area of a trapezium, multiplied by the height. Here, the sum of the lengths of the bases are 13 inch. Yani base one plus base two is 13. And the height of a trapezoid is six inches. But I'm going to say that I will substitute, remove B1 plus B2 and replace it with 13 because 13 is the sum of the length of the bases. So instead of B1 plus B2, I will drop 13. Instead of H, I will drop six. If area equals, 13 divided by 2 multiplied by 6, which is 13 multiplied by 3. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 2 divided by 2 is 1. So at the end, I have 39. And the final answer is inch square. Question 8. A parallelogram has a height of 3 feet and a base of 4 feet. What is the area of a parallelogram? It's very simple. Area of parallelogram is base multiplied by height. So it's a three multiplied by four, which is 12 feet square. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.